Hey guys, welcome to Papa Crescendo. I'm going to start doing videos on how to edit, how to solve problems on Streamlabs OBS. I've learned a lot from doing my son's channel. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to never miss an upload our stream. Hey guys, no problem. No problem? And it's mine the J. You can see it there. And on this video, we're gonna deal with Streamlabs OBS. I've been having so many problems with lagging. Uh, he likes to do live streams, and we do live streams all the time. And lately, since Streamlabs has updated, uh, we've had several problems. One, the black screen of death. I'm gonna do a separate video on the black screen if you're getting that and you don't know what's going on. And also, uh, Streamlabs updated, and after that Black Stream of Death came on, we re-downloaded uh, Streamlabs. Well, when we re-downloaded Streamlabs, it redid some of the settings. And some of the settings that I had forgotten about, that I set long, long time ago, I forgot about. So we could never get the live streams to not lag anymore. I had them perfect, and then now they're lagging again. So. With no further ado, this is what you need to see, by the way. If if you have the black screen of death, you don't see this screen going into this screen, going into this screen, going into this screen, and so forth. Uh, you just see black screen. Uh, but that's going to be on the next video. So here, uh, this is already open. Um, first thing you want to do is go up here to the Settings tab. We're going to go to Settings to do the best streaming settings for your computer. Before we do that, so you, what you want to do is go to Google and type in speed test, okay? And we're going to go here to speed test by Okla, click on that, and then hit go. Okay, if you have a download speed of like 40 megabytes or above, like see mine is almost 200 megabytes a second then you're good. If you're where, somewhere around here, that's pretty decent speed. So this is like crazy speed. I should not be lagging with this kind of speed. And then it's the upload speed. Upload speed has to be above six. Look, mine just got above six. Usually I'm about 15 or so. Okay, so I'm really good. If you're above six, you could run 5,000 bit rate. And we'll, I'll show you that uh, later on once this is done. So you can see this is really cool. It shows you your, your upload speed. I'm at 14, downloads 287, so uh, 218. So remember, you gotta be about 50 here and about five here at the, at the least, okay? To run at a um, higher speed, higher bit rate, like 5,000 bit rate. Okay, now we're gonna go back to our settings. And on our settings, let me go back to Streamlabs. Sorry guys, because I'm not gonna edit, do much editing on this. So I did the uh, settings. The very first thing we're gonna do is go to video. This is key, because a lot of people don't go to video, and that's what I did, I forgot to go to video. And you have to change this. Um, I leave the base canvas resolution at 19, uh, 20 uh, times 1080, okay? And that's 1080p, but we're gonna output at 720p. So that's gonna, I don't have a gaming computer, so uh, typically you could go um, 1080, 1080, but since I have lag issues, I need to give my computer a break, so I do this. Then, on downscale filter, go to bilinear. That's the fastest. Um, if you have a better computer, you can go to bicubic, okay? And that's faster uh, or better quality. Uh, but most people watch at 720p or less, believe it or not. They're watching on their phones, tablets, not really uh, super high, uh, high, super high uh, quality. But um, if you don't have a gaming computer, you got to do this. If you have a gaming computer, you can go, you know, the faster ones. Okay, these just leave, common FPS and 30. So after video, let's go to output, okay? And we're doing this for recording and for streaming. The first thing we're, that you're going to see in the output mode is the streaming. 
and um, just copy these audio track you can leave it at one the encoder this is the tricky one if you don't if you have a really good computer you can use this nvenc nvenc is like for super fast computers i don't have one i have a decent laptop that's pretty fast but um it's not can't do at nvenc you could also do qsv but um qsv i found a lags more than the uh, 2x4 so i've done testings on it uh, either one of these will work but i would recommend use software times 2x 264 okay and that uses your cpu and blah 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 all right so enforce streaming service encoder settings rescale output check those make sure they're checked your output resolution is going to be 720 again um to make sure you don't lag you could go higher, so test it out and see, you know, if you can go higher or not. Uh, your rate control CBR bit rate's going to be five thousand. You can lower this if you have a lower speed, so you can go to twenty five hundred if you've got lower speed internet. Okay, um, I can do five thousand. You saw my internet speed is killer. So the next thing is key frame intervals. Make that two. Usually it's at zero, which is auto. But you can put that on too. Ultra fast is the easiest thing that will on your computer. So ultra fast, you can also go a little faster or very fast. The slower you go, the faster, the higher um, CPU you're using. So if your computer can handle it, then yeah, go very fast. Okay. But uh, if your computer is lagging, then ultra fast is going to be the best setting for you. So right now I've been having lagging problems. I'm going to go with ultra fast. Profiles main, tune. I don't even know what this is, but um, I'm just leaving it blank. That's how it was. So um, then recording should match it. You can do the same thing on recording. So I've got the software at 264 for recording. I'm leaving it at 720. CBR five thousand dollar five thousand dollar five thousand bit rate and two K key intervals and my ultra fast again okay so that's it basically on output um, you can test it by re hitting record and running like Fortnite running a video at the same time and um, you could even run like a green screen thing so you can run the camera the video capture device on Streamlabs. I'll be making a video on how to do a setup for Streamlabs as well. Um, and see how it runs. Play it back. If you don't get any lag, your live stream should be okay and should not get any lag. Because I know it's hard to test it on YouTube. Um, you can't run like a live stream test. So that should do it. The other thing you can check is on advanced. Let's go there. The last thing you want to do is check advanced. Make sure that this says above normal. Process priority above normal um, the rest of this just leave alone don't touch it okay and that is pretty much it on this video good luck to you um, like I said if you want to run a test on the lag you can just hit the record button and um, record with a whole bunch of stuff going on like your game record your game and record uh, you know as have a YouTube channel on as well. Thanks a lot. I hope this video helps you out and I will be posting more videos on Streamlabs and also videos on how to edit, videos on how to do uh, green screens. Thanks a lot and see you later.